What's up guys? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a Modern Warfare 2 patch for 1.11. You can do it for 1.12, it's the same exact process, but I'm just messing with 1.11 right now because well, PSN's down and I like playing with bots and stuff, you know, because it gets kind of boring doing land and not doing anything with it. So anyways, so you're going to need a jailbroken PlayStation 3 which is obvious. If you don't have that, then I suggest uh, YouTube and Chris Tech TV. He's pretty simple and he can get you. They're very, I mean, it's really easy to jailbreak it. It takes no time. Anybody can do it. All right. So once you've jailbroken it, you've done all that, let's go ahead and move on to this one. I'm, I'm trying to make this noob friendly and easy for people to follow because I notice a lot of people are like, well, jailbreak the 3.660 or 3.60. Show a tutorial on how to do that. I mean, you can't because nobody's done it yet. There's a kid Sandy did. Math, Math and Mule all or whatever the f his name is, he don't count. Um, he's he's just some little kid looking for e-fame. I'm thinking. But anyways, so you can go to Google and you can search the patches you want. There's already modified patches for 1.12 out. I've played with them on the LAN since PlayStation Network's down, and they're stupid. And I don't like them because they suck and they're not like what they used to be. Because Modern Warfare 2, when they updated their patch, they Resecured it completely, and that's pretty much you can't do that anymore. You got to do the stupid configuration mods, and they suck. But anyways, so this is gonna be noob friendly, and you should be able to follow it quite easily. You're gonna need a flash drive, like what I got here in my hand. Mine's a little four gig flash drive. It's no big deal. You go to Walmart and get one for like twelve dollars. Plug it into your computer. And then you're gonna get this guy pop up. Open photo to view the files. I've already got some stuff on here. Yours will probably be blank, or if you've got music on it, that's cool. I would suggest actually like taking the music and putting it off to the side because it lags it out really bad, and you don't want that. So you can go online and you can Google the patches, and once you've downloaded the patch, you can just transfer it over to your desktop here, like where I got it, or whatever you want to do with it. I don't really care. Just put it somewhere where you can find it. It'll always be a patch underscore mp dot ff. Okay. And the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go online. And you're going to go to Google, and you're going to type in ComGenie's Awesome File Manager. It's already in my browser history. <clears throat> you'll see it, ComGenie's Awesome File Manager, homebrew for PS3. And then you'll see, it'll have the direct link. I mean, that's your, it'll be ComGenie.com, so you're not getting scammed by anybody else being stupid. Go to the end of the download link, and you'll see ComGenie's Awesome File Manager, the GeoHot Patch 3.55. It says GeoHot Patch, but it's for any custom firmware. It's, it's been signed, so it doesn't really matter. I'm on Rebug, so I mean it still works. Okay, you're gonna download that one. And then you're gonna open the folder that it's in, and then you're gonna extract the files. I'm using WinRAR, so it might be a little different from yours, but I mean you can just open it or whatever you want to do. You probably won't be able to open it, but you can just transfer it. Like whenever you click on it, whenever you download it, you'll notice, for example, I'm using Firefox here. Okay, and you'll see I've downloaded it three times already just because I'm trying to show shit. it actually seven times because I keep having to do this over and over and over. Anyways, so let's say it's right there. If you're using Firefox, just click on it and go to open containing folder. You won't be able to open it because it's not going to let you. Okay, it might and it'll just open it with notepad or something, something stupid. So we're going to open the containing folder and here's my WinRAR. It's right here, whatever. I'm going to extract the files over to my flash drive to my removable disk eye, which is where it's at. Transfer it over, yes to that, exit out, exit out, whatever. Open up my flash drive and there it is. You'll see ComGenie's Awesome File Manager, you see ComGenie's Awesome File Splitter and the eboot.bin. You don't need to know what that is and you don't really need to mess with it, so leave that one alone. And then, all right, now you got that on there, you'll notice your patch, you have already should have already downloaded on your desktop or wherever it is. You see my folders here, I've got cold boot, I've got Derek Trotter's patch, Mossy V9, Mossy Final V9, and that's my Modern Warfare 2 1.12 patch. But I just did this to make it more organized for me. Yours is going to be blank. Yours is going to be simple and blank and easy to follow. I mean, whatever. So just transfer it over to your flash drive. I'm putting mine in the Mossy Final V9 folder to make it more organized for me. Because I don't like ciphering through which is which. So now that you've got that on your flash drive, it'll read. It'll say patch underscore mp.ff and you'll see the little white piece of paper thing there. 
Now that you've got that on your flash drive, you can go ahead and take your flash drive out, and the next step you're going to do is you're going to go to your PlayStation 3 console. Now you can get your USB flash drive and plug it in to your PlayStation 3 system. You can have your system on or off, it doesn't really matter. Mine was just off, because I'm awesome. And then just log in like you normally would. Sorry about the, uh, the cold boot sound. That's for custom firmware. You can install that too. It's pretty simple and awesome. You can change your whole startup. And PlayStation Network's still down. Imagine that. Now you're going to go on yours, where you, where you usually load your games from, your little CD. You'll have that little Blu ray disc in your game. And then you'll have install package files right above it. I'm on Rebug, so mine's, I'm on Rebug's custom firmware, so mine's a little bit different. But you just go to install package files on yours. Can't miss it. And then just load it. Like whenever you click it from install package files, you'll see what you've put on your flash drive. It'll load up on your screen. Mine's just slow. Then you'll notice Com Genie's awesome file manager is there. All this other stuff is what I've got on my flash drive. That's a Modern Warfare 2 1.11 patch. And that's just a new update for Multiman that I haven't done yet. So we're going to go ahead and load Com Genie's awesome file manager. Click X. It'll install it, then go back. And you'll notice it's, that it'll be right there. It'll be at the top. You'll see it. Com Genie's awesome file manager. Yeah, it only manages everything because it's awesome. Alright, so load Com Genie's awesome file manager up. You'll get this screen of awkward weirdness that you probably won't understand one bit. So, I mean, I'm going to try to help you guys out the best I can here by fixing this screen. I'm recording this with a phone, by the way, so it's probably kind of sucky. I'm sorry, but I'm going to try to walk you through it with this part. You'll notice that the left side of your screen is highlighted in yellow, and you have a little arrow. You use your D-pad to navigate this, up and down, whatever you want to do. But the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to the right side. And now my right side highlighted yellow. I'm on the right side of the screen now. And I'm navigating down until I get to dev underscore HDD0. That's your hard disk drive. That's what you're going to be. That's, that's where you're going to find your original Modern Warfare 2 patch. Okay? So we're going to push X on dev underscore HDD0. Click X on that one. And then you scroll down and you'll see game. It's not the games in all caps. It's the lowercase game. We're going to push X on that one, and then we're going to go and we're going to find <coughs> we're going to find our Modern Warfare 2. These are the game codes. Mine's BLUS30377, which yours should be similar if you're in the United States. Even if you're in England, it might be different. It could be BLES300674 or something. It doesn't matter. I mean, you just it's it's on your box of Modern Warfare 2 box. You can't really miss it. So mine's bless BLUS. 30377. We're going to push X on that one. And then we're going to go down to USRDR. That's going to be your directory that it's going to be in. We'll push X on that one. And then scroll down and you see patch underscore mp.ff. Now that's the original patch for Modern Warfare 2. Okay. Scroll down to where it's highlighted in green. And then we're going to navigate over here to the left side. You're going to push left on your arrow pad. And then you're going to go down to dev underscore USB 000. That's, that's your flash drive. Push X on that one. It might take a little bit to load depending on what you have on it. I don't have that much on it. I don't even think I have one gig on it, but it's just, it, it's slow. And it sucks. That's just part of loading. Like if you had music on there, it would take forever. Okay. 
Now these are my folders. I have folders on here, but you're going to see a patch underscore mp dot ff. Okay, and when you see when you navigate to your patch underscore mp dot ff, here's what you're going to do next. If mine would quit being so slow, see I have mine in folders, so it makes it easier. Make sure patch underscore mp dot ff is highlighted on this side, and it's still green because you've got your little arrow over there, and you're actually working with this directory on this side. So when you've got the little arrow and you're on patch underscore mp dot ff on the left side, push circle. But before you do that, make sure that over there on the right side of your screen, that other one, the other patch underscore mp dot ff, has a little arrow pointing to it. Okay, and you've got that, and then you can copy it over. Push circle to copy. Push start to make sure that you really want to do that. Yeah, we want to do it, so we're going to copy it. All right, it's copy. So that is it. That's all you had to do with this. And quit it. Quick comp genie's awesome file manager. Since PSN's down, I can't get online with it, so I'm just going to do a LAN. Because, why not? And before you say, well, it only works on LAN. No, it doesn't. It works on, it works on LAN, too. It's just PlayStation Network's down because they're gay. And hackers hacked it, apparently. So we're going to go in here, and I'm going to prove that it does work for all you guys. I mean, it's very simple. Once you get the hang of it, you can you can delete you can delete it. You can delete the patches. You can make new ones, or you can you can change the patches out. You can delete the you can delete the original file. I mean, it's no big deal. It's really simple. Let's go to my land. We'll go ahead and create the game. We'll start it up. I don't know if my phone auto focuses or not. We'll do this one, and then we'll select the sniper. And you see it down at the bottom left, version 1.8.7 Private Edition from Mossy. And there it is. There's all your awesomeness that you guys have that you haven't been able to have in a while. I've missed it so much. It's insane. I'm just spawn five bots. I mean, and that's it. There you go.